Ugh. All right, well tonight, how safe is your food before it's served to you? Was it stored properly at the right temperature? That is some of what health inspectors are looking at when they go into the places we all like to eat at. So a consumer reporter Bill McGinty looks at those inspection reports every week to bring you his restaurant report card. Yeah, first up this week is the Whole Foods here in Uptown. Part of their store got a 90, which is the lowest possible A you can get. One of their employees had a hand washing violation, touching their phone, and we know how dirty phones can be. Then they touched the clean utensils. Some of the grilled chicken and some of the honeydew were too warm at the pizza and salad bar area, so some of it had to be tossed out. And a pot and a cutting utensil were stored in the hand washing sink. That is for hand washing only. Their grade in the prepared foods and coffee section of Whole Foods? A 90, that is a low A. Next up, the Graham Street Pub and Patio. Employees in the kitchen and food service have to know the signs and symptoms of foodborne illnesses, and one didn't. Some of their raw poultry and beef were stored in too close, and there was an employee with a very long beard who wasn't wearing a beard hairnet to catch those loose hairs that might fall into your food. They're great here, an 86.5, that is a mid-level B. Last up, the Waffle House on West Arrowwood. They had wastewater spilling above a floor drain in the kitchen, and their grits and gravy, which should have been hot, wasn't. It had to be tossed out, and there were fruit flies buzzing around the kitchen. They're great here at the Waffle House, an 84.5, and that is a mid-level B. One quick reminder, don't just rely on the A grade or even the B grade. Be sure you check the violations, as we've pointed out many, many times. Even A grades can have serious problems in the kitchen. I'm Bill McGinty, NBC Charlotte.